Any other issues that we'd like to talk about? I'm happy to talk about charter schools, but there's a lot of other things before. Vouchers for schools and why you're co-authoring that bill as well. That certainly will. Um, my, I believe, as I just told the uh, reporter from Education Weekly, that uh, after 25 years of being involved in public school reform, which, which I've been actively involved in the entire time, that the, uh, and we've nibbled around the edge of school reform throughout that time period, with some good programs, and some that really didn't make a difference, that the most meaningful way uh, to cause improvement in our public, already good public school system is to inject competition. Uh, I'm, I'm fond of saying if my law firm was the only law firm in Indianapolis, we'd have very high rates and uh, meager service. Uh, but we're not, and we don't. And uh, as schools feel a competitive environment, we're already seeing that uh, they're making, uh, making improvements just because of that, because people have a public school choice today. You may not be aware that uh, we enacted in 2007 the opportunity for uh, a resident of one public school to attend another public school system outside of their district. And I know there's some of that going on right here in Fort Wayne. So that is, uh, has caused, uh, I can feel that. I can feel that as I talk to, to folks. So um, again, it, how, do we, how do we inject further competition for those who are unable to exercise school choice for themselves, the, the uh, folks with the least means, to give them a percentage of the funding that they would uh, receive at a local uh, school local traditional public school and take it to a school of choice. I don't have any problem with that. The bill would allow families with household income up to $105,000 a year to qualify for a voucher. Is that what you consider low income? Yeah, well, first of all, let's let's put the full facts out there. Um, a family that is at the free and reduced lunch level, okay, so that's 180% of poverty, they would be able to receive 90% as the bill is currently drafted of the funding that would be used at their local school corporation to take to a school of choice. A family that was at twice the free and reduced level would be able to take 50% of what they would receive, of what would be spent on them at their local school corporation to a school of choice. And the family you've been, you've referred to would receive 25% of the amount that would go toward their local school corporation. And it's a transfer. It's not uh, getting someone in. It's someone who's in public school today that says, this is not right for my child. And uh, again, those, that's the way the bill was drafted. I'm sure those, those levels will change uh, throughout, uh, throughout the discussion. Uh, my focus is on those least able to, uh, to afford choice themselves, that, that so group in the free and reduced. So you're amending that, that threshold lower? Um, yeah, with respect to those of higher means, I think the, uh, the folks that are at the free and reduced le lunch level, those are the ones I'm most focused on. Uh, but we did want to give other families that, uh, that, that uh, need assistance in that regard as well, some opportunity as well. And when you say I'm open to, uh, to uh, amendment, just as with the charter bill, we accepted amendments from all over eight hours of testimony on the charter bill. We accepted amendments from Republicans and Democrats. I've sat down with all participants. We'll continue to do so. so Unlike the prior uh, management of the Indiana House, I know that most of the legislation I'm working with, uh, with has not been dug up in tablet form in front of the uh, state house. It's, uh, it's a work of uh, democratic process that we all have had something to say about. With that, I'm going to have to stop. Uh, Thanks so much, Susan. It's my, my pleasure to be here. I'll just say uh, one more thing. Thank you so much for hosting me today, Chancellor, and your entire team. It's, a pleasure to participate in the, in the discussion that uh, in your uh, discussion of the promise and problems of democracy I'm sure we have some thoughts about that this afternoon as we move forward and it's my pleasure to chat with all of you.